I am at the moment writing a lengthy indictment against our century. When my brain begins to reel from my literary labors, I make an occasional cheese dip. These are not the boastful words of a Pulitzer Prize winning author, but rather those proclaimed by the gormandizing, mustachioed, and infamous antihero in John Kennedy Toole's A Confederacy of Dunces. Published posthumously in 1980, A Confederacy of Dunces chronicles the misadventures of Ignatius J. Riley, a paradoxical 30-year-old man-child living at home with his arthritic mother and lacking ambitions to apply his mastery in medieval philosophy. When his disdain for proper interview attire fails to land him a university faculty job, he returns to romping the French Quarter in his signature lumber jacket and floppy green hunting cap. Ignatius' destiny for soccerdom is short-lived, however, after his inebriated mother wrecks her car and then browbeats her son into getting a job to pay for the damages. What follows is a series of side-splitting debacles for the aspiring blue-collar Ignatius. He mischievously stages an unsuccessful coup while working in a Levi's pants factory, and then fails miserably as a hot dog vendor when he consumes more than he sells. Ignatius' odyssey intersects with other zany working-class inhabitants of New Orleans, an apt setting with a distinct street life that Toole renders with equal color. A Confederacy of Dunces is the 20th century's Don Quixote, rife with satire and with the underlying tragedies of both author and protagonist. As American writer Walker Percy writes in the foreword, I shall resist the temptation to say what first made me gape, grin, laugh out loud, shake my head in wonderment. Better let the reader make the discovery on his or her own.